don't like this. It's already turning all kind of weird, just the way I like it. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. I'm your Russian American makeup and beauty addict. I love buying and reviewing affordable, inexpensive makeup from AliExpress, Dollar Store, Drug Store, you name it. I'll test it and I'll pass the savings to you guys. This is a different video. I almost did it as an Instagram post, but I was thinking somebody, someone might be interested. So I'm going to be transforming into uh, a mystical creature. This is a challenge, a weekly challenge from a makeup group on Facebook. And uh, the challenge is mystical creature, so inspired makeup. That's why I'm out of makeup. So the intro is bare, so it's going to be a surprise. Unless I put this on the thumbnail. We'll see. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, I'm going to be transforming into a mystical creature. It might be a fail, but we'll see. So keep on watching to see what happens. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe to my channel. Uh, click the notification bell. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So leave your comment. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's get right into this tutorial. So let's get into this. Um, kind of excited and I'm still not sure how I'm going to approach it, but we'll see. So as you can see behind me is the whole tray I brought from a bathroom. That's my tray of makeup because I don't know what I'm going to use. So I brought it all here so we can like dig in. So this is a challenge from Facebook, my beauty and friends group. Uh, we do each week different color scheme or different challenge. So this was a mystical creature whatever you want to do. So I looked it up, I looked up, I googled, schmuggled, and I found something that I was kind of interested in and it drew my attention immediately, it was Phoenix. So I'm thinking like a reverse the revival, the crap that we're all in right now. So it would be very inspiring to kind of like rise from ashes and reverse. So, so we'll see, I better do good because if I suck at it, it's going to be a very bad fail. So I have no eyebrows. They're all tattoos, microblading. And uh, whatever I had, I shaved. Just for the art of it. So <laughs> if you have eyebrows, use Elmer's, Elmer's glue. That's what all the drag queens use. You tap on your eyebrows. You press them down. Just watch the drag queens tutorial. You can easily block your eyebrows with Elmer's glue. But since for me, it's just color. I'm going in with e.l.f. A light beige uh, concealer and that's just a regular comma concealer and the reason I'm using it is because the comma concealers hydrating is my favorite but this one is very drying I don't use it under my eyes and it's very full coverage so it's perfect for this so I'm gonna let this sit a couple of minutes press it in and put the powder over I'm gonna go in with foundation. So the eyebrows are done, they're blocked with two layers of concealer and two layers of full coverage powder, which is maybe on Superstay, got this on sale in Walmart. Anyway, so they're almost blocked, but the foundation goes over. I'm using Foera. This is the one that people either love or hate. I happen to love it. Uh, so this is color 104 above beige. Usually I mix it with darker tone, but today, I'm pale, I haven't tanned, self tanned in a while, so we're gonna put that on. I'm putting it everywhere, including my eyebrows that I just covered. I'll give them a little more coverage, see? They're disappearing. So I'll be back with the full foundation. So I did prime before, in case you're wondering, I forgot to mention, I primed with e.l.f. Uh, Luminous Body Primer and that was it. And then foundation concealer already went with concealer. Concealer I used uh, CoverGirl, this one. This is a real good concealer, dries real quick. Uh, I did not bother with P. Louise base because this is kind of an artistic look. I just put concealer all over. So eyebrows are done. I look like a blocked out mannequin, which I love. So I'm using some eyeshadows that I don't reach for often enough because I might need a lot of paint and I don't want to waste good eyeshadow I mean meaning the one I usually use so not doesn't mean that this is bad it just means that I don't reach for it 
Uh, so I don't have the real face paint. You know, some people use that, like real artists. But I'm just gonna go with what I have because I'm a girl on a budget and I'm a crafty queen. So I'm go going for uh, this palette by Care Beauty. That's uh, Desire 15. It has a good black in it. I don't reach for that black a lot, so I might as well use it on my neck. Because I want to create ashes first. And I kind of use big paint, uh, not paint. I guess it's a foundation brush. I don't really use it a lot either, so I think this should be good. So I want to have this ashy black look. I'm going to go as low as the top. So I'll probably need to shower after this. This is one of those things that require a shower. Or at least a lot of wet wipes. So black. I kind of already like it. It really works well. It just requires a little more work. If you have like a black body paint, probably gonna work a little better, a lot better than this. And this is gonna take forever. I'm going to cover this up with something else later, so I'm not gonna bother going all the way to my neckline, uh, you know, the top line. And I'm just gonna go around so you cannot see my skin here. And I'll keep building until I build it to a nice ashy burnt black color. So I found another brush that I haven't used in years, so I can really F it up. <laughs> I'm not even sure what that is. It just like, it probably was one of those uh, powder brushes, but I went into the red in the same uh, Desire 15 palette and really dug into it. And I painted red to kind of create this ombre from black into red. So now I'll need to find yet another brush for the yellow because color switch doesn't really work with it. If I try, it's still red, so it's not going to be clean uh, transition, so I'll just use any brush that I'm not using, and most likely it's going to be this. It's just a Jessup's Petite Stippling. It's probably not the right brush for it, but that's what I have, and that's what I'm using. Now I'm realizing that I'm like in need of more brushes, probably, and the palette I'm going to use, let's see, I have a lot of yellows and oranges. So this is um, Vintage Dawn from BoxyCharm. Looks like this. It has a lot of oranges and red, yellow. So I'm gonna go into yellow first and get here. See if we can build that up. If I can't build it up, then I'm gonna use another palette that has yellow. So now we build up all those colors. I'm trying to build up some irregular flames and I'm using Flara. That's another gel eyeliner I don't really reach for, so I don't like it as an eyeliner, but it's good for painting. Just like a random lines here, just to paint the flames. So I proceeded uh, painting some more lines in yellow. Uh, this was very challenging, LA Girl uh, Neon Eyeliner. I destroyed a lot of it on this because it did not want to paint to create a little more lines. I'm kind of living for this. So creating more lines with a, a red lip pencil and some more gel liner. And now I'm going with the eyeshadow. Uh, just picked another palette, uh, Tammy Revolution. The Tropical Carnival it has a lot of bright colors. So the oranges and the yellows kind of just paint in the outline to create a little more of a uh, dispersed flame look so it's not very very ge geometrical because flames are never regular so I used a little bit more of a yellow uh, gel liner to just kind of outline the flames was me in just a little bit so this is now looking very crazy Again, I'm gonna put some feathers here later. I got some feathers from old Halloween costumes, so this will work. So I'm just working up. So now I wanna use the same brush because I don't wanna dirty up another one in red. I'm gonna just squeeze it to create a contour in red. I just wanna create real sharp lines, point it up. 
So I'm using the same uh, Desire 15 palette for the uh, red. And then I'm gonna go for the orange and yellow. So using the same brush, I'll dip into the orange from, uh, probably gonna go with Tammy. Tammy has a good orange here. So, and then a little yellow. Yellow is gonna be challenging. Yellow always hard to show on a lighter skin. So, we'll see. Probably gonna use a yellow uh, gold. That's a good idea as highlight. So let's try this. I'm gonna use color switch on this, try to clean it up as much as I can. And I'm gonna go into this yellow with shimmer in it from uh, Desire 15. It's very shimmery, but it's very soft. So I'm gonna try yellow, matte yellow first, and then maybe go on top. Oh yeah, actually it works, matte works too. But I definitely wanna add shimmer. Oh, this is gonna be nice. <laughs> it's a very creamy, kind of a cream texture in the powder palette. So this works really well for this kind of makeup look. So I'll contour with the same red around. And my hair is probably gonna be pink. I'm not washing my hair tonight, no way. I'm too lazy. It's already late, it's like it's almost 7 p.m. So this is gonna be on my face, <laughs> well, for now. And if it goes on my hair, it's already going on my hair. It's gonna be on my hair for a while. And let's see, I don't wanna highlight this area, so I'm gonna use another brush I'm not using. Uh, it's not like a contour, yeah, I think it's a contour brush. I'm going to dip back into the orange and hat because the other brush was already so highlighted I can't use it anymore. Oh, this orange is bright. I'm dipping into a, a Tammy's palette, by the way. Tammy's palette is really, really bright. And then I'm going to start drawing the eye shape and then the eye... Well, there's going to be no eyebrow, you'll see. There are going to be some feathers involved. <laughs> I had to. Well, I guess I'll do the nose contour first. So let's get a brush. Probably something like this. Yeah, that should do. And I'm going to do the orange. Because we're going with the fire and flames. I think I might start drawing up the eyebrow shape with a thinner brush just to outline the orange again. But I do have feathery boa at the Pride edition. <laughs> I went to the Pride parade years ago. Well, not once, but this one of the times I went, there was a, a sale for everything rainbow. I wanted to buy a wig, but the wigs are hot and I was in the middle of summer in Atlanta. So I went for the rainbow, boa. I love my boa, it's still alive and well. It's about to lose some feathers. <laughs> I'm going to pluck my boa. I like this, it's already turning all kind of weird, just the way I like it. So I'm gonna stop with the eyebrows for now and I'm going to draw uh, the top of my eye. I look so the phoenix bird is supposed to have a little purple in it as far as I remember so I want to draw something with a deep purple eyeshadow and I have a few old palettes in front of me I'm 35M yes boss moon I haven't reached for this in a long time but as you can see I really love it a couple of them broke and some of them almost hit the pen and these are uh, these are good purples here so the deep deep purple I'm going to pick another small brush, I'm probably going to clean this one up, and I'm going to outline my bird eye. So going right into it, I did not set my lids, so let's see. So 
So up to the purple, I'm going to go into red. And I think I'm going to go back into a tammy. Has a very good red here. I'm going to use another small brush, probably the same brush I used for my eyebrow shape. Was it? I forgot what I've been using. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to go right for red and try to go above that. Again, I'm just having a general idea of what I want to do, but not 100%. So we're trying to get that bird look. And it's working. I feel like a black swan moment. <laughs> a little creepy, but very cool. I like creepy sometimes. If you guys seen my Instagram look, I posted the look that I did in my group. We did I did a live on Facebook and one of my looks was uh, avant-garde. And I drew an eyeball on my mouth. That was very creepy. And I lived with that. I put the eyelashes on my Alright, so this got away from me and it got bigger and bigger. <laughs> so now I got all these angles and lines. Uh, this is just the general outline. It's not 100% set in stone yet. I'm kind of creating as I'm going. So as it gets bigger, it's gonna get bigger and bigger. So now I'm gonna go with the white under my eye to create a bigger bird look. So this is just the one of the cover up sticks forever look. Uh, Etablia, I don't know where I got this from. I've used it in my videos a few times. And this is a cream shaded Jessup. So I'll just use flat brush. Just create, I use a bigger brush than cut crease because it's a bigger area. So I want to have more coverage quicker and I'm gonna draw a line. So this is a set base, people. So I'm kind of just drawing the picture here. It doesn't matter. It's not uh, a look that you have to look close at. <laughs> if you look close, it's gonna look scary. <laughs> okay, so I've been drawing some stuff on my face. <laughs> it's just gonna take so much time I have to add it. So I use this white stick to create triangles. And then I use the same uh, purple eyeshadow to outline. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And also, I used a white eyeshadow from uh, Alicia Alisa Edwards palette to set the white. So I'm not sure what I'm doing with the shape. So I'm trying to create this like a bird eye look. So I'm gonna drag. I'm gonna drag the white here. Because I didn't do it first on the other side, so now I regret it. So just outlining it first, taking a small brush, and I'm going back into the Morphe palette, the 35M. And I'm going to start with, let's see where it ended, here. Just the outline, I'm going to clean it up, and I'm going to start painting some more probably feathers up top. Okay, so we got to this point that I'm using a purple eyeliner, just a felt tip that came in the Ipsy bag a long time ago. So I'm trying to draw feathers now, and they kind of look between feathers and tree leaves, <laughs> or trees. So once I add glitter on them, they're gonna be more like feathers. So this is turned into a Bob Ross tutorial. Now I'm gonna draw some tree right here. And I'm gonna draw a squirrel on a tree. <laughs> well, don't worry about that. <laughs> so I painted some more uh, feathers and I put glitter on them. So this is Mint Galaxy Bomb, and it's a perfect name for it, Myth, Mystical Creature. So it's Clara Beauty, I like this color the best, because it's very mysterious, so I kind of just dab it on, like to diffuse the feathery feathers, the feathery feathers. The vocabulary is outstanding. So that's what I'm gonna do, just diffuse them first, and then paint some more uh, purple lines over that if I disappear if uh, the purple disappears 
So we got the eyelashes on. Uh, I just put some eyelashes I use for drag shows. Curl them. Curl. Curl. Then it's turned to a drag show. So I feathered my eyebrows a little bit, put a little more highlighter. I cut my cheekbones with the same white powder. It's like an almost white uh, Superstay Maybelline. Just to get a little more cut look. The nose, everything's contoured. And I'm looking like a dang bird. I'm living for this look. <laughs> All right, so lips. I was thinking between red, orange, and black. So I, I wanna do all of that. So I think I'm gonna start with black, and then, then I'm gonna put orange. That's what I black lipstick. This is the same one, like my go-to for the weird looks. It's a knockoff of Kylie, of course. I got it at a dollar store. It's a RK uh, Rose Ruby Kisses, I think, uh, Forever Matte. So I'm gonna do the black, and then probably gonna do uh, the ombre, the red in the middle, put the eyeshadow on the yellow, you know, the ombre look. Yes, let's start this. Actually, I have this, and this is like almost black. That's a liquid cat suit in a video of Vixen. I think I'm gonna put that on late after that. Oh yes. So I did the lipstick, the black, and uh, a video vixen, the, what is it, uh, wet and wild. So now I'm gonna put gold in the middle, I already started, just to make sure I like it. I don't wanna fail on camera. So I'm using for this a gold, just any gold will do. I just like this one. This is from uh, Revolution, Makeup Revolution London. And this is the Precious Stone Ruby Palette. And this was gifted to me by one of my friends and subscribers. Thank you. You probably don't want to say a name, just say a name, but you know who you are. And this is a beautiful palette. I'm going to use it on my lips. This is a gorgeous gold. It's like liquid metal. All right. I finished my lips and I think I can't see partially because the lashes are blocking my vision. I got all kind of goop inside my eye. Anyway, so I'm so living for this now. So it's time for the feathers. I plucked my boa and this was what came out. So I think I want to put orange and yellow on top of each other. They blend a little better than red. So I'm thinking using a glue, eyelash glue. That should work, fingers crossed. And I see feathers flying everywhere. Whew. If the feather is going to end up on my eyeballs, on top of my contact lenses, that's going to be trouble. My husband will never see dinner tonight. <laughs> I've been screwing with it for a couple of hours. And it's past dinner time. But, oh well. You'll have to wait. Let's see how that's going to work. I have a feeling it will work. Hope it's not gonna fly off. So, let's see. I think this is my right eyebrow. This is a true definition of brow wigs. Brow wigs the house. So, let's see. Ooh. Ow, it's glued to my finger. Oh, that works actually. It glues really well. Well, let me finish this off because this is like trying to fly away. I'm a real bird now. Ca -ca! I'm gonna glue on both and I'll be back. Okay, the final look is done. I feel like it's very drag, it's very dramatic, and it's very symbolic. In our world right now, like the phoenix will rise from the ashes and thrive again. Just for your entertainment, my friends. This is very, very cool. I kind of enjoyed it myself. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, whether I was gonna like it or not, but with a little plucked boa and a little bit of, I'm covered with feathers right now, I'm covered with it. Uh, a little bit of costume from Halloween, 
I have this piece. This used to be somewhere around the skirt. I don't remember where it was, but here is a piece. And that piece is a bow. I, I glued this on with the eyelash glue. This one's I just clipped on with all hair flips. So what do we think? It, I think it's as crazy in a good way as possible. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Hmm. I'm enjoying this look. <laughs> it's like almost 9 p.m. I haven't had dinner yet. I'm not even hungry because I'm like about to flap my wings and fly away and come from the ashes. Kind of want to open up my ashes, right? So we can see the ashes. <laughs> Let me close it. You don't want to look close at this because this is not a kind of look you look close at because it's all crusty and dusty in here. <laughs> so I got white glitter here from Care Beauty silver i got blue gl glitter on my feathers uh purple blue purple i got my uh eyeshadow twin eyeliner and my eyebrows i covered the house i don't even know why i drew them because the feathers went right into my eyebrow wig so this is a true definition people of eyebrow wigs right there <laughs> oh my god this is so cool now i have to take it off and make dinner so I hope you having fun time. This is not a fun time. I don't want to talk about the thing that's going around. It's enough already to watch CNN. So we'll just have fun here. This channel is for fun, making fun, throwing shade, and doing some makeup looks. Sometimes look like a bird about to fly away. So I hope you enjoy my uh, Phoenix Rising from the Ashes look. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and occasionally on Saturday, something, sometimes. So I upload at 11 a.m. Pacific time, and like this video, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and leave me a comment below. Do you like special extra looks? Do you like drag? Do you like um, avant-garde tutorials? This is like as avant-garde, as great as they come. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. Love you all guys. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.